What's going on YouTube? Nexus here bringing you a black and white Wi-Fi battle. I know I'm still doing those. Come on, stick with me guys. Uh, more black and white 2 stuff coming, you know, soon also. But I just got to get these videos out of the way. I have a lot of old videos backed up and I just want to get those done and out to you guys as soon as possible. Uh, so this is a OU match against Lobo Z23. Uh, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description, of course, of this video. Uh, on his team, he's got Infernape, uh, Uniclus, Gastrodon, Donphan, Feraligator, and Dragonite. Dragonite, why are you always popping up everywhere? My team, I got a red team, like I said before. Venusaur, Blastoise, Charizard, Espeon, Pikachu, Snorlax. This is not his actual team movesets wise. It's my own movesets, but his team. Um, so, yeah, get that big threat, Pikachu! So let's dive right in the match and see how this match goes. Not much to talk about my team, unless you just want to, probably best just to show you guys. So yeah, let's do this. So here we go, challenge by Lobo Z 23 I'm going to lead all with Venusaur as he leads off with his Jin, which is his Infernape. Going to try to go for the Flare Blitz, I assume. So I'm going to switch on to Blastoise. He's a good counter. Solid uh, max defense, max HP. Um, so, I'm going to be taking physical hits all day long, hopefully. Especially Flare Blitzes. Actually, that looked like bandit damage to me, but uh, it turns out to be Life Orb, so... Yeah, uh... Sticks at first. God dang, you're so powerful. Burn it. So, he's going to switch out to East Coast, but he's in the Water Move. But I'm just going to go for the Toxic, because that is so obvious. Why would I just go for the Water Move and the Gastrodons in the background? Just chilling. No. You will not do that. So he's going to get hurt by poison. I'm going to switch out here and go into my Venusaur again. Sorry for the speed, guys. I kind of wanted to... I don't know what I want to do. I just don't want to do a fast narration today. So... Uh, leftovers. But Toxic is going to start to wreck up eventually. And now that uh, Venusaur is in, he's going to be switch, forced to switch my set up to Sunny Day. Sunny Day. And this Remy close scared me. I'm just like, okay, Venusaur. Let's see what he's gonna do. First, I'm gonna over like I'm gonna like, okay, I wanna see what his set is. If he's Calm Mind, Psychic or something, I'm gonna be screwed. So he reveals to me Calm Mind, I'm like, oh well this is just finding dandy. I just wanna get off one plus two hit off of this guy. That's all I need to do. So I'm gonna try to go for the solar beam, see how much it does. A third growth. Um to a plus one Remy plus. And that does Nothing. Not even gonna be a 2 hit KO. I'm like, okay, so he's probably max defense, but I want to judge an earthquake's damage, and hopefully after an earthquake I can finish him off with another solar or another earthquake. So I go for the EQ, and that does. Mm, looks like about 3 hit KO. But goes for the pain split. I'm like, okay, so he's combined pain split as recovery, um, which means he has two moves. Psychic and Focus Blast, I was thinking. So, yeah. But he gets walled by Sable if he does that. So maybe he's shut off. I don't know. This is a weird set. So I'm just going to be like... Obviously he doesn't have the Psychic. Or he would have gone for it by now. So I'm like, okay. Here I'm just going to be like, alright. I'm just going to set up Sunny Day again. And just go for that Solar Beam. There we go, real Shadow Ball, so he has Psychic, no Psychic, but he has Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball Focus Blast, maybe? Possibly. This Reuniclus is already a pain in my ass. I don't want this thing living. Stop living, Reuniclus, just, just go away. So I hit with a plus four Solar Beam, see what that does to it. Should do roughly around the same amount the first one, you no, know, crit. Crit, crit, crit. Crit, 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 crit. So yeah, that crit was... It mattered. It's a reunion plus. It's plus two special defense. It mattered. So it comes out this thing. I'm like, okay, I just want to break your freaking multi scale. Uh, you probably have fire punch or some stupid thing like that. So I go for the solar beam. It doesn't. It does a lot considering it has multi scale. So I'm like, okay. Um, I can go for another solar beam if he chooses, but he can just roost off the damage. And that's gonna suck. So. But I have to stay in because I have nothing to tank hits from a Dragonite. It's a freaking Dragonite. I don't want to be taking hits to anything. You know those things are awesome. Maybe back in another Dragonite. 
So I'm gonna go for the slow beam and see how much it does. It does the same amount. I was like, okay, so is that multi-skill or is that not multi-skill? What's going on here? What are you, Dragonite? Are you... Are you inner... or whatever his other abilities, inner focus or whatever? I'm like, wow, this is just odd. Dragonite without multi-skill? That's weird. So I'll switch to this, go for the Ice Beam. Uh, I think I pack Ice Beam. Do I pack Ice Beam on this thing? I don't know. Maybe I just go for it. Yeah, I gotta go for Ice Beam. So this guy comes in, I'm like, oh, a Frolligator. That's cool. So, yeah. And I'm just gonna go for the Toxic, because I'm max defense, like I said before, and these things are usually physical. So, Dragon Dance. Don't even care. So, uh, I don't even, I don't even care. So, I'm gonna have a Toxic here, and it's gonna get Toxic it, but then I think it has a Lumberry or something, and I'm like, oh god, the Lumberry. Yeah, no, look at this. First of all, yeah, Lumberry, that's what I think, right? I was like, oh god, please don't have a Lumberry, but he doesn't. So, yeah. So, we have another Dragon Dance here, I'm just gonna try to, uh, I think I'm gonna go for the Roar, because I think I have Roar on the set, maybe? Yeah, this is a weird, stupid set. It's called Ice Beam Roar and Toxic. I should run Protect over Roar, but... Meh. East Coast, coming in. Ice Beam, coming at ya. Blastoise, slowly doing work. The slowest kind of work. Blastoise work. So, I'm gonna bring back Blastoise, switch in Espion, predicting the Toxic, because, honestly, you want to get that stuff Toxic, right? So, yeah, Espion, measure bounce that stuff, even though he's already Toxic Poison, and Poison, Toxic, Damage, stuff. So it's racking up on him, which is a good thing, I definitely need that thing out of the way. I'm gonna set the light screen, because, hoping not physical gas burn on. Um, but it's special, which is good, but it... At the same time, like burn, burn me, I'm gonna be upset. So hopefully, I can just keep on stalling this guy out of toxic and stuff. So I'm gonna step my reflector. Now I have dual screen action going on, the hottest kind of screen action, dual screening. So he's gonna stall me again. I think it's time he gets a burn. And I'm like, oh god, burn. Oh, that's gonna be stupid. Burn, toxic, damage is damage. Racking up on me. I do not like it. Because, yeah. Now nah, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm just going to go for the wish. Alright, I have wish on this thing. This is a wish passing dual spring espion. That's what this is. And, uh, yeah, burn. So I'll switch out here. Switch out into Snorlax. Thinking he's going to go for the physical move, and I'm just going to get life back. Wow, and he goes for Brick Break. I'm like, that was stupid. I didn't think he would actually go for Brick Break on my Espeon. So, yeah. That was unexpected. So, Choice Beta Storlax. Go! I don't even care anymore. Buy slam for choice banded Snorlax does nothing. Oh, it actually kills it. Huh. How about that? Kills that thing. Dead. It was good. So, this guy's coming. I'm like, okay, I don't want to be hitting any no hits. That's beyond. All the close combats. No. No. Did not wall. You did not wall very good. But don't worry, I got the choice scarf, Charizard in the back. Come on, Charizard, do your work. So, choice scarf, flare, air, slash, action. I really should have sped this up. Somebody over the Dragon Pulse expecting uh, Dragonite to come in. Still, this does nothing. This is such a bulky Dragonite. This is bulky Dragonite. Especially bulky Dragonite, looks like, with the head. With extreme speed. Especially bulky Dragonite with extreme speed. What are you doing? What's going on? I'm so confused right now. So, Dragapults, and it does not there. Gals, it. Gals, it. What am I doing? I'm like jumping the gun on everything. I don't know what. Forgive me, people. Just forgive me. I'm sorry if this narration gets stupid. Ugh. 
And if it does, I'm, I'm dreadfully sorry. So, I'm going to Dragon Pulse here as he Dragon Dances. Trying to get those boosts. But unfortunately, I'm just going to Dragon Pulse the crap out of it. Until I know it's going to attack, so... Unless I... Yeah, he's probably going to go for like... Aqua Jet or something. So I'm going to switch him to Blastoise, because he's physically wally. Potty. So... Waterfall, going to hit last with free hard, but doesn't, doesn't do much, like I said. Max defense. Max HP. Stuff. So Toxic's going to wreck off on him. Unfortunately, he has leftovers and not, uh, not the life orb, which would have been nice. He's going to go for the brick rate, get a crit, and it's going to roll. And this guy comes in. I was like, oh, I've been waiting for you, buddy. I've been waiting for you. I'm gonna kill you now. Yeah, scald you, little Don fan. Uh, no burn? Oh, burn! Cool! He's gonna go for the C bomb. Hopefully, burn plus max defense, max HP is gonna save me, and it does. And I'm just like, wow. Tanga hits like a boss last so time. It was like a boss. So, Donphan's taking burn damage. Mm, it looks like a Scald's gonna take it out, so it's gonna go for the Ice Shard. Let's hit move to deal as much damage as he possibly can without having to switch into his other guy. But it gets another crit! I'm like, wow, two crits in a row. Those crits absolutely didn't matter, but, you know. Still! Still! Still, those crits. And, uh, I'm gonna get with these here, and he's gonna switch into his. Infernape, thinking that at this range a close combat could kill me. He might be right. I'm not sure. I'm next defense, but he is a life orb adamant, probably, or some scary, scary Infernape type. God, Infernape's powerful. I keep forgetting how beastly this thing is. So I'll switch in Charizard, and I'm gonna go for the Air Slash. Scarf, Air Slash, to finish off the things. Because, uh, his dragon's dead. All he's got left is that ape in this. Uh, here I'm like, okay, is his last move Aqua Jet? Obviously not. So I'm going for the Air Slash, and I'm going to finish it off. Risky plays make risky winners, people. Risky plays make risky winners. So I'm going to go for the Air Slash and finish off the match with style. I hope you guys enjoyed this match using Red Team. Probably won't do it much more else, because it's not a very good team, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, remember to check out my opponent's channel, it's in the link below. Look down. Look down. D just quit scrolling. Let's go a little bit up. R right there. Now click the little tab thing and it pops up in opponent's channel. Opponent's channel! Go check it out. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little scenario I built for you in this match. Um, next battle, it's going to be a PU match against Black Light Attack. I hope you guys look forward to that, and I'll catch you guys whenever I upload it, which may be tomorrow or the next day. Who knows? Peace. Peace.